So it was y positive. Okay, so and x plus one is greater than zero. X is greater than negative one, but it could be anything, any integer greater than negative one, and we don't know anything about y, so that's not sufficient. Two, x, y is positive. So actually, either they're both positive or they're both negative. Okay, putting them together, x and y both have to be integers. X has to be greater than uh, negative one. Okay, well, if x is zero, then this whole thing is zero, so that doesn't work. So x is not zero also, because um, x, y has to be greater than zero. So x has to be positive, basically, because we, we knew from this that x is greater than negative one. It can't be zero, it has to be an integer, so basically x is positive. So that means y also has to be positive. That's efficient together.